And if you guys just want to look at each other in the eyes really quick, just look at each other, yeah? And just know that the person you're looking at right now is statistically most likely to murder you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Jail Time Pod. It's your host, Red. We got a video today from Poor Man's Podcast. Man ignores threat from women, as we all should. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's give that chow. It's Chow Time. Hey, it was you girls that were fighting with me. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. oh my god! Yo! Oh, oh, shiver my timbers! Shut up, man! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! You wanna record us, but put the camera down so they can record me spanking. Oh god! Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's, <shit. laughs> That's assault! They're going to jail, bitch! Yeah. That is assault! This is why I say in my life I've seen far more women hit men than men hit women. It just goes underreported because we don't see them as a threat. But the second he would have hit her back, lock his ass up! Yeah. Lock his ass up. He did the right thing. Don't take the risk because eventually these types of girls gonna meet their match. Pow, right in the kitchen. <laughs> How old are you? 26. 22. How long you been together? Two, Two years. years. If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody, would you take it? No, sir. <laughs> you you only you might get one pass, but at the end of the day, you want one wife. We see this. That's shit. what I'm talking about! And this is the wife I want. So no. Good He's job, just a good man. Okay. Now what about you if he gave you one? If this he gave me a guilt question. treat pass, I would take it. I beg your pardon? Right. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry. That's who, crazy. Who would you take it with? Um, Lindy Waters the third. Don't even know who that is. Me That's neither. our problem. <laughs> yep. Yep. Who else? Um, Barry Sanders. I'm in love with him. I actually know who that is. Now, what do you think those men have over your men? Uh, they're professional athletes. That's crazy. <laughs> it's not that they're good fathers. They're 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 potential better husbands. They're wonderful, you know, hus you know, like people. Nope. It's just because they're athletes. <laughs> hey, black or white? One is Native American and one's black. But do you think that any of those guys would? Go for you. Uh, Junior would. That's crazy. <laughs> she took your balls, nigga. She How delusional is she to think that any of these sports stars would go for her? To, to have sex with her, sure. But to go for her? She took your balls. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever. At the end of the day, I don't care. Me personally. I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. disrespect. I would have told her straight up, take that back or you're single. And I don't ever want to hear nothing like that again. He just said, I look at you as a wife. And she just said, I'll give myself to other men. American men and boys have become so weak. I know the rest of the world laughing at us. Mm -hmm. What if she got all the assets you want, but we're at a strip club? Like she a nurse in the daytime, but she do stripping, you know. Aside, and she mad like what a lot of younger people don't realize y'all have to go through your 20s i already been through my 20s y'all could take my advice if y'all want or y'all could make the same mistakes that i made me n being older i've seen patterns i've seen the behaviors of certain type of people everybody likes to think that they're super special and that they're an individual no you're just like the other stripper you're just like the no, other nah, bartender nah, nah, not everybody. that's what i said that's what i said look wait let me finish i said y'all are young and y'all can think like that but, but I i'm asked telling you, but that's you that's not what i asked you i asked you if you met the girl at the gym no okay that's it if she if she that's shares that. her that's body no Okay. So that's the Simple. only issue that she shows her that's body. That's it. That's the only issue. She so she could she could have a, a modest job. She could be f Christian, whatever the. F and, but if she work out a strip strip club, she ain't. I'm not a religious person, but no religious person is gonna call themselves a religious person, and they're going to be a stripper. That just doesn't work out that way, guys. No, but okay. you work at a strip club, got. Only fans, something like that. It's a dub. I'm happy he stood his ground because I don't care how much America try to normalize it. I don't care how much you call me insecure. I don't care how long I gotta wait. I'm not marrying no hoes. If you lived your life with a certain amount of integrity, you have the right to expect your woman to also have integrity, especially if she gonna be the person raising your kids. I seen some dumb ass shit. 
on, I think it was Facebook. Somebody was like, somebody was like, in 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 this generation, you might as well just pick a hoe and settle down. Fuck, I look like picking a whore to settle down with. Now, I, I mean, that's the point where men have given up to where like, I still want a partner. And there's only whores left. I'm going to go for whores. I think these, a lot of these men have not experienced what passport bros is. Just, I'm thinking at least. I know our generation is fucked, but bro, they don't got nothing to do with my choice in a wife, bro. I'm not picking no hoe. Exactly. To, to, to cuff just because it's a lot of hoes, bro. Like, bro, I'm a fucking lover, bro. I'm, bro, I'm, I'm a motherfucking lover, bro. Like, I love hard. Like, it's either I, I don't give a fuck at all, or I I love to death. It's no in between. Like I either give a fuck about you or I don't. It ain't no in between, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't do the whole. Man, you I kind of fuck with you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's either one or the other. This is my dad era, and this is your era. What the fuck? You gotta be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> Do you realize the rest of the world laughs at us? I agree with this. Do you realize the Russians think we're all kids? Do you realize most of the Eastern Bloc countries think we're kids? Because we are! We're an embarrassment to humanity! People can say... I admit it, when I was younger, I would say I was kind of an embarrassment. Nowadays, I'm a little bit better representation of it, but... There's still a lot of men out there that need a little bit more work. Whatever they want about Dan Pena, but what he just said is facts. It's gotten to the point where I was at the gym using bumper plates on a bumper platform doing power cleans with 115 pounds and I was only dropping the weight from shin height. Some grown ass man seen me drop the weight one time after my set was done and he went and told mommy. I used to be a professional athlete, so I know I'm using the equipment how it was designed to be used. And then this 250 pound obese woman came up to me and told me that I got to stop dropping the weights. All I could do is look her in her eyes and say, y'all just ain't going to stop, are you? Y'all just ain't going to stop until the entire country is pussified and every man is castrated. And you know, I wasn't being disrespectful and I respect the gym and I understand she's just doing her job. But it's just fascinating to me how every facet of American culture is just becoming pussified. I mean, there's a reason back in the day to become a man. You had to go through a crazy amount of trial and tribulations to become considered a man. You know, in Indian culture, or not Indian, Native American culture, you go do the pilgrimage stuff. The, even in a lot of other, like J Japanese culture, you become a warrior. There's a lot of ways other cultures made it. We used to be very good with it too. We used to train our boys to fucking be fit, you know, to know what you're, to know your worth and all these things. But the last 30 years or so, I've seen it from when I was in high school to the kids that are in high school now. They're a lot weaker in almost every aspect of the word weaker. Have you ever tried pine cone jam? Have what? you ever tried barbecue hammers? You said Usher gotta chill. Man, you don't think so, bro? I, I think he so. does. Bro, that is I'm a man fat. wife, bro. That's a fact. Like, you cannot put your genitals on the back of a man wife, bro. First of all, it wasn't planned because the reaction on her face. Right. It was like, she I was know he just didn't. She was like, and if it was planned, she would have she would have had a time to ask her husband, was it okay? Right. And both of them would have said no because they know what social media will do to something like that. She got snuck a punch, bro. Mm. You see the expression? Mm. You saw that expression? She was caught off guard. Yeah. And people can say I'm insecure all the fuck they want. That ain't insecure. That ain't insecure. It, know, it's boundaries. Wife. That is his wife. That's a fact. I ain't putting his nest sack on back of my. 
Did you see when he smacked Nicki Minaj on the ass? It was funny, dude. When I watched it during the Super Bowl thing, I was like, oh, us red pillar manosphere people have content to make because thanks to the Super Bowl commercial, <laughs> the Super Bowl performance. <laughs> I got to show you that. Nicki Minaj looked at him like, nigga, is you crazy? Who did that? Oh, sure. But she ain't even married. So you get away. That's Nikki at the end of the day. Man, bro, come him. on, bro. Like her reaction, it was like, her, her reaction was like, she was trying did to get you away just from do me. that? I'm trying to understand why. Bro, she was caught off guard. It wasn't in rehearsals. Right. Wow. Wow. If it ain't in rehearsals, you don't do it. What up, Mike? Period. I don't give a damn. She's not an actor. It's not a movie. Right. She plays the piano. And the fact that there are so many women online trying to defend this behavior shows that there are a lot of women that don't even know what it means to be a wife. And I think it partially started with the term partner. I hear grown men calling their wives and girlfriends partners. That is a LGBTQ term. If we together, we're not partners. You're my girlfriend or you're my wife and I'm your boyfriend or I'm your husband. And those titles come with certain expectations. This ain't my partner. This is my wife who I have a commitment to. And it'll be a cold day in hell before I act like I'm okay with a another man putting his sweaty nuts on my wife's back. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a WRL and give me the HBO special. As I help brother out special, hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time. Shout outs to poor man. I agree. I always say it. Hit the gym, guys. The pussification of the United States has been going on for what? 50 plus years now. We used to be men. We used to be top tier of most men out there now when you look at us compared to a lot of other countries we're just like rainbow fruities please like subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time